Hello my friends, it is Crystal and welcome back to my channel. Today we are in the kitchen to do some cooking, some cleaning, as well as a DIY. We're going to give the barn door wall a little bit of a makeover, which I'm super excited about. I would say probably, oh my gosh, it's probably been two or three years since we actually removed the cabinet doors from this little pantry and added the sliding barn door and we love it. However, this wall, that it's on has always been a challenge to decorate. And so I've kind of been doing some brainstorming as to what we can do to spruce things up. And I have a few ideas. So here is a quick look at the before. Now I will say I went back and forth if I wanted to add shiplap here or do something else, just paint the whole wall or add board and batten. But at the end of the day, since we already have shiplap on this wall, I didn't want it to be too confusing and have two like different styles going on. So we're just going to bring the shiplap that we have over on this wall to this one as well. But we're not going to go all the way up. I want to have a little bit of room to add just like one long and narrow sign there. So the plan is to shiplap from the floor all the way up to at least cover this phone jack that's on the wall. I've always tried to cover it with a picture, but it's definitely an eyesore and we have no plans to ever use like a phone in the wall anytime soon. So I think it's okay that we get that covered. So yes, this is the before of the wall. And I will say, once we start getting the shiplap up, I actually have paint on hand that I'm thinking about painting the barn door a different color. And I'm thinking about doing the Urban Bronze, which is the blackish color. I'm a little bit nervous about it, so I'm not quite sure yet. I wanna see what the shiplap looks like. And worst case, if I do paint it, don't like it, I can always go over it with white paint, which would be my next. Um, choice I think as far as that goes so yeah I enlisted my husband for this project I was kind of joking with him but not really but I said you know for Valentine's Day I don't want flowers I want some shiplap <laughs> Before we get started with the DIY on this wall, I actually want to clean out our pantry. Now last year I went through and did a whole pantry makeover where I painted the inside, did the Sharpie shiplap, and got a bunch of new food organizers, and that system seems to be working really well, but I just have not really done a good job of cleaning it since that video. Every once in a while I'll wipe out different areas if I see that it needs it, but pulling all the things out and wiping down just hasn't happened, so I thought I would take just a little bit of time today and do that now I'm actually using the mrs. Myers multi-surface cleaner I'm kind of at that point where I'm ready to start thinking about the spring scents, so it's the perfect time to use up this spray that I've been using over the winter I think this one is like a snow is it just called snow I'm not sure but it smells really good but I can't wait for the spring line to be coming out soon
today during my clean out I'm really not trying to reorganize or change things up a lot a few things move around but I really like the organization system that I put in place I love the OXO pop tops you can really pack them in they are perfect for smaller pantries which is definitely what we have going on here so I try to put some of the things we don't reach for all of the time towards the back with the main ones up front now, if you are newer to my channel, you might not know that we actually have a closet that is directly behind this pantry. And we use that for storing a lot of small appliances. We have a beverage cooler in there. I have some like a wine rack in there. What else? Uh, canned goods as well. So that kind of takes care of some of our carryover items that don't fit in here. And that seems to be going well. Now, if there's one thing I've learned is that I would love to have just one large walk-in pantry someday. That would just be so nice. We have actually thought about combining the two spaces, but the opening is just a little bit too small and the wall is right up against our bathroom. So it just doesn't really function very well. We'd actually probably lose storage space if we ended up doing that. So it is what it is and it works just fine for us for now. But the whole reason for today's makeover is because we like to have our barn door closed, pantry door closed, food out of sight, out of mind, right? And so it looks fine when it's open. However, when the pantry door is closed, this wall just looks completely bare. So hopefully we'll be able to solve that in today's video. I had a feeling you'd come back and save me. From all those lonely nights and heartbreaks And I feel misplaced without you Why don't we go back to Why don't we go back to Never wanted to end it like we did I guess shit happens for a reason But it's like something feels different from back then Why don't we go back to Why don't we go back to up without you by my side I still see your silhouette Why don't we go back to Why don't we go back to Your bedroom That feels really good to get all the shelves wiped out and let me just tell you, halfway through I was like oh, I don't really want to wipe out that one but I did it anyway so thank you for motivating me to clean out my pantry so now that is done, I actually just went over on Instagram and posted a quick poll wondering which color I should paint my barn door. I'm, go I'm like really close to doing black, but then the other part of me is like white would just really brighten it up too. So I don't know, I think I'm gonna try the black, but I'm gonna wait and see what you all tell me over there. Good morning, it is now Saturday. I'm just finishing up my coffee, clearly. <laughs> I'm gonna need it because it is officially makeover day for the wall. My husband had to work yesterday, so it just didn't work out. But today is another story. It's super cold out, so it's a perfect thing to do on some of these colder days. So we're gonna be doing shiplap. I have been scrolling, looking at pictures, and ultimately I do think it's the right decision for this wall. You know, shiplap, I personally think is timeless. Some may think it's a trend, but I think it can be timeless depending on how you use it in your home. You can paint it. Uh, so I don't know, I'm excited about it. So do that and then I did decide I am going to paint the barn door the darker color. I Instagram, most of you said, I can't, I don't wanna say it, over 80% said to go bold and I agree. I've been looking at pictures and I just fall in love with this. I just think it'll pop with the dark, the dark door with the white wall. I just think it'll look really cool. So that's the plan. We're doing it all today. Now, one issue, I went to three different Menard stores for the shiplap we have been using around our home. I want to keep using the same stuff. And they didn't have enough for what we need. I think we need 13 to 14 boards. And I only was able to round up nine. So I'm like messaging my dad, like, could you check yours one more time? I'll meet you halfway or whatever. So that could be happening but it's really it's the amount of ship lab we have would only bring it to like right here and we'll cover my outlet so that's kind of what is going on we're gonna get as much as we can done and i can always special order the boards if i need to so yeah 
kind of texting back and forth waiting to hear on that. I do need to run Macy to gymnastics practice this morning. And so on my way back home, I am going to run into Menards and just check to make sure they don't have any in stock. I it would be amazing if they did. And then I also need to pick up just little plastic outlet, I can't even talk, outlet it's extenders. Outlet extenders so I can, we can push the outlets up once we have the boards on the wall. So I am gonna make one last trip to Menards before we get started. I'm thinking I'll probably end up painting the barn door during nap time after lunch. So yeah, it should be a good day. And it looks so nice out, doesn't it? The sun is shining. It's gonna be a beautiful day. It's actually not so warm out. The wind chill right now is negative 29. Negative 29, it's crazy. We've avoided all of like the ice and the snow that everyone else is getting down south, but we get the cold temperatures. I know a lot of you have said, oh my gosh, it's so cold here too, it's crazy. But I think we just have like one more week we need to get through and then there's going to be some warmer attempts ahead. They have all of them except for the white, of course. That's the one I need. I could buy something like this and paint it, but these are textured and the other ones are not. So I'd rather, this one maybe, this one's pretty smooth. And it's on sale, so I may come back, but I'd rather do the white and just be done with it, so. Bummer. I did find my outlet extenders or spacers though, so that's a start. Back home now, would you believe there's a shiplap shortage around right now? So I'm texting my dad back and forth. I'm like, four more boards, please try to find them. And he's gonna try really hard. He's on his way right now to see if they have them. But we're gonna get started anyways. Um, worst case, we can't put the last like three or four boards on right away. But my husband, he's it's one of those days where he's like, I'm gonna do it and I gotta take advantage of that. My dad came through for the win. Holy cow, that's awesome. I'm acting surprised, but I know I'm not over you. I keep missing a fight, even though there's an overdue. We had a fire, now we're watching it burn low. Isn't it time, isn't it time we go our separate ways? Not enough time, not enough time. I'm falling behind, falling behind I hate to separate my body and mind My body and mind Ooh, ooh I feel like Ooh, ooh, I feel like Demons in my mind Demons, demons in my mind Ooh, ooh, it tastes like Ooh, ooh, it tastes like Demons in my mind Demons pushing all my triggers I do want to give a big thank you to HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video. And it's funny because without the oven, I'm like, oh my gosh, how am, how am I going to make these meals? But thankfully, we have some that do not require the oven. So it all works out, especially on a cold day like today. A nice warm lunch will be amazing. So while my hubby continues to work on the shiplap, I'm going to get lunch going. It's apricot, almond, and chickpea tagine. I don't know. Body in mind Ooh, ooh, I feel like Ooh, ooh, I feel like Demons in my mind Demons, demons in my mind Ooh, ooh, it tastes like Ooh, ooh, it tastes like Demons in my mind I am always a big fan of having things delivered straight to our front door. That's not a surprise to any of you, but I love that I get to skip the meal planning and grocery shopping, which definitely has not been enjoyable in this extremely cold weather. But one of my favorite parts about HelloFresh is cooking with more fresh vegetables. I always talk about this because it's something I really should and could improve on. But I also really like that it helps me mix up things in the kitchen, not always cooking the same recipe and we were in desperate need of something new this week with our oven being out of order. 
But HelloFresh is America's number one meal kit delivery service, and they have more five-star recipes than any other meal kit you can find. So you'll know you'll get something delicious. But each week they offer so many recipes to choose from and send everything pre-portioned and ready to prepare. I always appreciate the menu cards and photos. It's definitely a big help to me. And it shows all of the details on there, the prep time, cook time, and you can usually get dinner on the table in just about 30 minutes. But you can use my code CTERRA10 to get 10 free meals across your four boxes with HelloFresh. You'll wanna visit the link in my bio in the description box for more details. Just finished cleaning up after lunch. It was pretty good. Um, my husband, I told him, I'm like, there's chickpeas in it. Have you ever tried those? He's like, no. So instantly, you know, he kind of is like, oh, I don't know about this, but it actually was not bad. And that's one of the, like, the main reasons I love HelloFresh is because I don't even know where you would find chickpeas in a grocery store. <laughs> no idea let alone pronounce what i just cooked so yeah there's all kinds of things i love about it but definitely gets me out of my comfort zone and it gets me away from cooking all the things in the air fryer like i've been doing all week here's where we left off on the wall we are now just waiting on a few more boards from my dad which will probably be later this afternoon so i have a little bit of time but i still need to put some extenders in those light switches so i'm gonna work on that as well as get started painting this barn door we're gonna go for it it's nap time it's quiet right now so it's the perfect time to do it and i'm just gonna leave it hanging i think i can get around those just fine but i do think i'm going to try to get this handle off just because you know we are looking at it all the time and i really don't want to see or have any paint on here I've kind of learned that over the years so yeah I'm gonna try to get that off but I am liking how it's coming so far the plan is to go up to right about there and then I'll have like a top board right above it to finish it off even if you try you wouldn't understand it maybe something's missing inside of you just a bit of sugar to that hobbit bitter Maybe you taste different Hold up, hold up, baby I can't sit beside you While you're going on about your simple life Nothing left you thinking That maybe you're not different Now I've actually been thinking about painting our pantry door for months now and I'm finally giving it a go. Sometimes you just have to put the paint up and see what it looks like. It's something I always tell myself is it's just paint and I can easily paint over it if I don't like it. But it's such a quick and easy way to change the entire look of your kitchen just by changing the color of your pantry door. So I can't remember if I mentioned this but the color I am using is Urban Bronze by Sherwin Williams. It's not a complete black color. It's more of like a deep charcoal with some hints of that bronzy color. It's just beautiful. And I actually didn't really mind the color that it was before, but you know, every once in a while it's fun to change things up.
it is now a little bit later in the day as we are trying to wrap things up. My dad did come and deliver the board, so thank you so much, dad, if you are watching. But I will say this wall did not come without its challenges. We struggled a lot to get our cuts perfect around the light switches, but we finally got it but definitely had our frustrating points for sure. But my husband, he's so funny. He's all bundled up because he was doing all his cutting in our garage, which of course, it's super cold out. So it is now Sunday and we finally finished the shiplap portion. It took us a little longer than expected. We ran into a few issues with making some cuts around the outlets, but we finally got it taken care of. So the shiplap piece is done. Well, it's not done. I still need to go through and like caulk and seal and all that, but the hanging up of the ship up was done. I do want to add a, like a wood ledge right here to kind of give it more dimension but it's just way too cold out. I just have no interest in going to Menards today. I think the wind chill this morning I posted, it was like negative 42 below, or that doesn't make sense. 42 below zero was the wind chill. So not, not excited about heading there today. So anyways, that will come in a future video. Still a little bit of work to do, but this is where we've ended up. I just love the color of this door right now, especially up against the white. So still more to come. I'm going to go ahead and just hang a wreath. And then I also did find a uh, piece to go right over there. So I'm gonna hang that up and share with you kind of the final look for, for now. I forgot to mention this, but the color of the door really coordinates well with our backsplash and our countertops as well. And you can kind of see in the background there, I moved the clocks around. This one actually used to be in our family room, but I moved that up here and the one up here down there to help tie in this like dark grayish color. And it looks amazing. Like I have pops of like this dark gray kind of going on all over, which I'll share with you a couple of shots so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. But anyways, yeah, I love the door. I love the door color, the ship lap. We're still not done. So we'll get there though, but I'm going to hang. I did put up my command hook this morning. I let the paint dry overnight just to make sure. I hang my signature at Magnolia wreath. Just, I mean, love that. I love the green popping off this dark color. And then this I actually found at Kirkland's and it was on sale. Plus I had some rewards. I only had to pay $20 for it, but this is like the exact size I was going for to put on this wall has some green in it. I think it'll be perfect for spring and summer. And yeah, I just really liked it. I think it's really fun. So I think this will be a spot though that I would like to change out like for holidays, maybe the fall, but for sure Christmas. I could see myself finding a cute sign to go there, but I'm gonna hang this up for now and we're gonna be done for today. I have to be super careful with what I hang because it is a very high traffic area here and I don't want the kids running through and knocking my decor off the wall, very dangerous. And two, I cannot have anything super thick because also when we slide the barn door open, it will knock it right off the wall as well. So I feel like I have the perfect happy medium, a little bit of character and decor and also covering my phone jack. So for sure, we're gonna do a ledge here. I think that will help separate the two spaces. And I may paint it down the road. I really didn't want to, but I may eventually do that as well. But for now, I'm really happy with it. I think once our floors are in, it will kind of all tie together really well. So I might wait until the floors are done to think about painting anything else at this point. But for sure, we'll do the ledge. And I think that is, exactly what's missing. It just really needs to warm up so I can get out of the house. But that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I was I was actually telling my husband, I'm like, I'm so glad we covered that phone jack because it's kind. Of, it's been so hard for me to come up with different ways to cover it over the years. So happy about that. So we'll do the ledge. I'll share that in an upcoming video once I get that all put up. And I think that's going to be it. But do not forget to check out the description box below for the HelloFresh coupon code and the link. But thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye.